Welcome to the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. I'm Rifki Kleiman, and today we're going to be making a smoky barbecue overnight flanken roast. This is something that is made with premium flanken. It's actually boneless today by Prairie Street. We will bring you only the best. So let's start. We're gonna begin by putting together a spice rub of garlic powder, celery salt, smoked paprika, chili powder, and a little bit of black pepper. We're gonna mix it together. Now that we have our spice rub ready, we're gonna put together our barbecue sauce. Once that's done, we're gonna get started. Okay, we're gonna put together a little bit of brown sugar, some crushed garlic, a bit vinegar, a little bit of liquid smoke. Sometimes you fake it till you make it, but you could make this on your smoker if you'd like. Mustard powder soy sauce. Then we've got some ketchup and some chili powder. Okay, we're gonna give it a little mix. Look at that, the barbecue sauce is ready. The beautiful thing about this recipe is it happens while you sleep. Just gonna start off by giving the meat a really nice sear. So while we get that ready, we're gonna take a little bit of premium to Marrakesh olive oil. And then we're gonna not call the spice rub for nothing. We're gonna rub it down really nice, and turn it over. So now that the rub is done and the meat is really well coated, we're gonna get our pan ready. We're gonna make sure our pan is really nice and hot. In my cookbook, it's featured bone in, which will only translate into a longer cooking time. So here we go. I'm gonna put my olive oil in. Oh, you hear the olive oil sizzling ready. And I am actually going to take the meat and I'm going to put it in. Did you hear the music I heard? We're gonna let it go. Generally bone in, I go for about 10 minutes on each side, being that it's boneless. I'm gonna reduce it to five minutes per side. At that point, we're going to add our barbecue sauce and then transfer it to the oven covered. That's it. Simple as pie, but mmm, so delicious to enjoy. Once we have both sides seared, we're going to cover our meat with our barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna let it start off in the oven. I personally like to cover it with a piece of parchment paper so that the silver foil does not get eaten away if you're in a baking pan. If you're in a cast iron, no need to worry about anything. We'll just cover it. Now I'm gonna put a lid on. It's all ready to go into the preheated oven. That's gonna do its work while you sleep. Have a great night. It is now morning. I can't wait to see how beautifully my flank and roast came out. Remember, if you are pressed for time, you can certainly do it on 325 for, if it's boneless, I would say about two and a half to three hours. Oh. oh, this smells divine. I can't wait to dig in. I'm gonna transfer it. The way for you to know what against the grain is, is before you begin to cook, you're gonna look which way the lines of the meat are running. Now, I'm gonna actually lift up a piece of meat for you and you see how the lines are running up and down, which means that we just cut against the grain and the lines are gonna be running lengthwise. This meat is so perfectly cooked and this knife is so sharp. It is so important to have good knives in your kitchen and to maintain your knives by sharpening them regularly. But I gotta tell you, this is slicing 
like a piece of butter and I cannot wait to dig in. I like to use a long spatula and I like to use my hands as well. I'm gonna dig in to our overnight smoky barbecue flunkin now. I honestly have been waiting because you cannot imagine what it's like to wake up to the wafting smell of this softest butter piece of meat. This is a beautiful medley, a beautiful combination of ingredients. This was fantastic. I'm Rivki Kleiman. Thank you so much for joining me here at Prairie Street's Culinary Kitchen. Be sure to watch us every Sunday at two when we drop a new video. So join us, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Don't keep a secret. We're too good to keep secret. See you soon.